kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearest children of God, as we continue our lengthy observance this morning, I would like us to reflect on one of the three pillars of Lent, alms giving. The outcome of our prayer and fast and, and fasting is alms giving, which is love and charity. St. James made it clear that in James 2, 17, faith without good work is quite dead. Fasting without alms giving is like saving for future. The parable of the rich man and the Lazarus in Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31, shows that shows the importance of love and charity. The rich man had all he needed in life, and Lazarus had nothing. And the rich man did not see the need to help Lazarus, who sat begging at his gate. At the end of their lives, Lazarus went to heaven and the rich man was condemned. The rich man was not condemned for his wealth. Rather, he was condemned because he felt to be sensitive to the needs of his neighbor. He committed the sin of omission the sin of negligence. As children of God, we have to be generous and sensitive to the needs of our neighbors. Let us not allow the good things of life to make us blind and be insensitive to the needs of others. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 verse 34 and to 46 remind us that at the end of our life we will be judged not by what degree we have not by properties we acquired not according to our positions in the society we will be judged the way we use our power and wealth and it is very simple to give food to the hungry, to give water to the thirsty, to welcome strangers, to visit prisoners, to clothe the naked, and to care for those who are sick. Notice, Jesus did not say, cure the sick. He said, care for the sick. He did not say, eradicate poverty. No, he did not say that. He said, give food to the hungry. Sisters and brothers, let us be like Jesus. The shepherd who uses his power to serve, to love, and to care. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. As you journey in this season of Lent, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.